You are not my prisoners. You are my slaves, and I am your master. Do you understand, you stupid creatures? Hmm. Natalie, Ladybug has finally faulted. Taking risks has paid off. I have nearly all of the miraculous, including the one of evolution granting the power of time travel. Gabriel, wait for me. As soon as I'm home, we'll... How many times in the past was I so close to seizing Ladybug and Cat Noir's miraculous? By returning to the past, I'll be able to anticipate their actions and steal their magic jewels when they're at their weakest. Or rather, mm. when they were at their weakest. Gabriel, there might be another solution. <sighs> Nuru, flop dual metamorphosis. I think I figured out how Monarch managed to steal the miraculous. <sighs> He's getting tired. This is our chance. Oh, watch. <clears throat> We've got to get the rabbit miraculous back. <clears throat> what was that? Kitty Noir, Minibug. Onyx, uh, was that really us passing through here? Yes, no, I mean, yes, that was you, but later versions of you, if all goes well. Monarch didn't waste any time using his new powers. And of course, he started with the Rabbit Miraculous, the most powerful one. The most dangerous one, too. As you know, changing the past can have serious consequences on the present. Ha! It's time to rewrite history! Burrow! Fascinating. <laughs> Ladybug, immobilized, defenseless. That was a perfect opportunity to seize her miraculous. If only I could go back. Oh, wait. Here comes the best part. I can go back. You don't get him out of there fast. Your crush will soon be slush. <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hawk? Moth? With a few new miraculous, but yes, it is me. Hello, Ladybug. <laughs> no! No! Over there, quick! He's trampled to your first battle against Lady Wi-Fi. That's not how it happened. But that's what will happen if we don't stop him. If you don't get him out of there fast, your crush will soon be slushed. <laughs> <laughs> Ladybug, Cat Noir, how can you follow me through time? I'm the one with the rabbit miraculous! Amateur, time is like a river with multiple streams, and the burrow is where they all come together. You with me? Okay, I'll make it simpler. The burrow's like a car, and we both got the keys. Got it? And we're gonna take back the miraculous you stole from us right here and now! Save us, Ladybug! You might still be their guardian, Ladybug! But I'm their master now! No fluff, Paul, and tricks ways unify! Mirage! There's too many of them! Venom! Bonix! Shelter! Perfect! If he takes her miraculous, we won't be able to follow him through time! Cataclysm! You're not going to win this time! I'm more powerful! Nuru, Fluff, Paul, and Waze tricks long unify! <laughs> you don't look so powerful now. Seems like you're about to lose this time, too. Wind Dragon! No! Unless someone brings me Ladybug and Cat. The big question on everyone's lips, how did Monarch manage to get his hands on the miraculous Ladybug was supposed to protect? I thought the holder of the Dog Miraculous was Adrian Agrest. You know who I'm talking about? Uh, um, vaguely, yes. Well, it turns out, Formidable wasn't Adrian Agrest, but I didn't know that, and I mistakenly gave the Miraculous to his cousin, Felix. He looks so much like him, he passed himself off as Adrian. So that's how he stole the Miraculous from you. Yes, and now Monarch has them. In that case, they both made a mistake, because that proves the two of them are linked somehow. We have to hunt down Felix. Let's switch to hyperspeed. Lady Luck, you were supposed to protect the Miraculous. You have failed in your duty as Guardian. Dark Wings fall! I swore I'd have you all under my control. 
Granted, two of your friends managed to get away from my dear nephew Felix. And the Miraculous of the Rabbit did get away from me. But don't be fooled. Now that your powers are mine, Ladybug and Cat Noir's Kwame's will soon join you. But I did protect the Miraculous. Then explain how they're no longer in your possession. The 15 that remain in the box, including the rabbit. What would happen if Monarch decided to use that Miraculous to change the course of time? She already tried. I... But don't worry. We got it back and put it somewhere safe. We trusted it to an exceptional holder. And we're going to do the same for all the others. Mm, because we finally have a clue that might lead us to Monarch. So instead of blaming us, help us, Grandmaster, and trust us for once. You're right, Ladybug. I should have helped you. Instead, I let myself be distracted by the modern world, like these incredibly expensive shoes and these electronic gadgets that wasted away four months of my existence with videos of cute kittens. What? <sighs> I've been a guardian for longer than you have. I am more experienced and stronger. Instead of being a piercing spear, I should have been a protective shield. Uh, fine, fine, but please get up. You know, everybody makes mistakes, so uh, just try to find something you can do to help us. That'd be great. You are right. I, uh, I'll go back to the temple uh. to get some backup. <sighs> uh. He's not going to leap all the way to Tibet like that, is he? Let's find Felix! Felix Fathom is the son of American billionaire Colt Fathom, who died last year, and aristocrat Lady Amelie Graham de Vanilli, a triple kung fu and horse riding medalist, chess prodigy, and England's youngest graduate, lives in London with his mother, the twin sister to the wife of famous fashion designer Gabriel Agrast. My son wasn't here this morning when I woke up. I didn't worry, though, because I thought he might have gone to see his cousin Adrian in Paris. Those two are so fond of each other. But Felix wasn't returning my calls, though I contacted his uncle Gabriel. He told me he hadn't seen him. And yet he was in Paris. I talked to him. Oh, Cosmo Bug, Astro Cat, I hope nothing's happened to him. Don't worry, ma'am. He'll probably end up at his uncle's. Or he might already be on his way back home to London. Thanks so much to the two of you for your support. What if we're wrong about Felix? Do you think he might be one of Monarch's victims instead? I just don't know. He was our only lead to recover the Miraculous. We'll find more leads, Monarch will keep attacking, and we'll figure out what happened to Felix. Until we do, we're gonna have to be more careful than ever. With all the powers that Monarch has now, we have to expect anything at any time. I know. Let's head back. It's been a long day. Everything will be okay. How can I think of anything else? <gasps> Alia? <gasps> Marinette Dupin Chang? Monarch! Are you sure? Yes, and now you have to ask her for the gift. What do you mean, the gift? You have to ask Marinette Dupin Chang for the gift that Ladybug gave her. A gift Enough. is... Enough! You have a, a gift for me. Uh... Oh, yes, yes, the the gift Ladybug gave me. Right. Don't make any sudden moves. <sighs> sorry, I'm... I'm sorry. I'll get you the gift right now. There. Divide. I didn't ask for a keychain. I asked you to take me to the Guardian. That's what we're doing, Monarch. Ladybug is always careful. We don't know her address. So, in case we get lost, she came up with a little scavenger hunt to help us find where she lives. And the first clue was to follow the smell of croissants. Isn't this so much fun? <laughs> you know where to find Ladybug? No, I I mean, but Ladybug gave me this keychain when she gave me the Miraculous of the Mouse to give to the Kwame. Uh, Molo, if she couldn't pick it up, or if I got lost in the way, or if I was late. I'm such a klutz, there was a chance that this might happen, so I get why she didn't trust me all that much, and... Anyway, I... here you go. I got the keychain, but I don't know who Ladybug is or where she lives! Hey, your dad gave me these croissants. You! You know where Ladybug is! No, I don't! 
But now she's gonna know where you are. <clears throat> Listen up, peeps. Mega Scoop, live from Marinette Dupen Chang's room. Monarch, now that you've got all the miraculous, what do you think Ladybug is up to? Maybe she's moving her secret hideout. Or she's looking for a replacement. Or maybe she's already on your trail. <sighs> hey, that's censorship. <sighs> Forty-two? What is this supposed to mean? It's a number. A number is a series of funny little symbols that are generally useless except for noting how many bananas you want for your afternoon snack. And what is this? Well, that is the key that opens a locker at this place where you can slide around like crazy on top of a frozen pool. Oh, yes. The Guardian would tell us about it all the time. She loves going there. Uh-oh. The ice rink. Nuru, Kalki, Unify. So, what I miss? <laughs>